ET here, uh, Lazy Ministries. It is another super duper happy Sunday. Um, this video is going to be a bit different. I might cry, but I feel like this is something sincerely that I should share. And yeah, so, um, this is going to be a bit of my testimony, and it is going to be heartbreaking. Um, nothing physically wrong with me. Emotionally, spiritually, I would say broken. Um, but we're going to talk about it. So right now, I am in the beautiful state of Hawaii and i should be very far from crying about anything but to give you a little bit of background me and my best friend we planned this trip back in i think november december of 2021 wanted to go somewhere you know been cooped up because of covid and scared to do anything because of covid and felt like, you know what, we're going to take a chance, see where God is going to lead, and see what happens. And so we did that. And everything just flowed, and everything was effortless. Um, as far as, like, booking the trip, and, excuse me, finding the place to stay, and just all those great things, right? And uh, getting our rental car, getting our flights, everything just worked out smoothly. Um... In the middle of a fast that I was doing um, in the middle of the year, I thought I heard God tell me that I was going to meet my husband in Hawaii. Really didn't believe it um, and dismissed it, prayed to God and left it alone. That same night, I had a dream that, you know, I was soaring like an eagle, like Isaiah uh, 40 and 31. And, uh, oh, sorry, y'all, if y'all hear that in the background. Um, and then ended up, you know, waking up from that dream, feeling like a presence in the room, like a fatherly presence in the room. Started rebuking that, not realizing it was the Lord. And, um, you know, ended up having my mom, you know, help, asking my mom to pray with me about it. And uh, she discerned it and heard that I was going to meet my husband in Hawaii, too. So at that time, you know, I had so much peace about it. I was like, well, God, if, if this is you, this, you know, I didn't tell my mom beforehand when I had initially heard that same night. Um, and then, um, you know, she heard from the Lord we assumed because it was the same exact words right and I had told God in the prayer when I first heard it I was like well you know if this is you you'll confirm your word if not then you know I'm not worried about it um so since then um I felt like God was leading me to do like a 90-day transformation with righteous wives and you know I'll enter her channel in below and um was doing that prepping and preparing and you know, praying for my husband harder like never ever before and um, just revisiting old things that was broken that I that I had came to the beginning of this year saying to God, I'm not focusing on it. I'm not thinking about it. I just want more of you. And um, even in the process of just prepping and preparing, was having more of God like never ever before um you guys see that I had one video about my 40 day um fast and how transformative that is and actually today um well tomorrow will be the last day of my second <laughs> 40 day fast and um thought that you know coming here and hearing all that I heard and multiple prophecies and you know having people pray with me people that
that are truly in the word of God, um, it hasn't happened. And even though I don't, today is Sunday and I don't leave until Wednesday morning, I don't believe it's gonna happen. Um, it seems like as soon as I got here, all the signs just pointed to it's not going to happen. Um, and I feel disappointed because I feel like, dang, I was duped again. I was um, tricked into believing that this was from God and it wasn't. And so now I'm hurt all over again. And um, I have to, you know, go into worship and go into prayer and ask God to heal this hurt that essentially I feel like I created out of desperation. Um, marriage is something that I've always wanted ever since I was a little girl, always desired it deeply within my heart. Um, and something that I thought that I would always have, but it looks like I won't. At least right now, I don't know ultimately what God is going to decide. Um, either way, I know that I'll be content, even if I'm not going to be content in that moment. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. And, you know, I've, I've heard it, you know, I'm about to be 32, so... I've heard it all like just wait your turn it's gonna happen for you and you know um, your blessing is coming and your marriage is coming to be frank with y'all I'm tired of hearing it I'm tired of hearing it because it's you know yes it's it, I'm not pushing those people away and saying please don't say that I appreciate all the encouragement that I get but it comes to a point where you get tired of hearing it and you want to actually see it and you want to experience it and you want to feel it. And um, I'm not in that place. I don't know when I'll be in that place. I don't know if I ever will be in that place. Um, and it's something that I just have to accept and be okay with that maybe God hasn't called me to marriage maybe it's just purely my desire maybe it's just my desire and, and it's not something that he's called me to um cause for quite the opposite you know I've, I've heard from God just focus on me just focus on me and then, you know, as of this year, just being led to the scripture where it says that your creator is your husband. And I kind of felt like, hmm, maybe he's calling me to just be single and remain single, which is fine. I don't like what I'm doing, which is, well, I don't know which way to go. Like, you know, it's like I desire marriage. And should I keep praying for it? Or... You know, am I being called to be single and ask God to just remove it from me? This desire, um, because I don't want it to be an earthly desire that I am so fixated on and it's not of God. I'm not saying that marriage is not of God. Don't get me wrong. Marriage is of God. But sometimes we desire things and it's not for us. It's, it's just not. And, you know, I've had people who have had dreams and heard things from God. And, 
it's all been consistent seemingly you know things that my mom has said and other people and all that stuff for years like since my late teens early 20s and um I don't know y'all I, I just I don't know anymore so I'm heartbroken and I'm sad <laughs> and it's taking everything right now in me not to just bust out crying um, I told my mom I said when I get home That's when the healing has to take place. That's when um, I really have to get in the face of God and just stay there. Just stay there. Um, that's my safe place. There's nowhere in this world where you know, will make me feel safe and cared for and loved as much as just being in the face of God. And um, I have a lot <laughs> to face when I go home. Good things, challenging things, um, troubling things. But let this not be a discouragement, you know, for you. Um, that even in the troubling times and in the unsure and the challenging, and you just don't know what to do. In my case in point, I just don't know what to do anymore except for to trust God and, and and my trust is not at a level of oh God I'm gonna trust you for this I'm gonna trust no my trust right now how I feel right now my trust in God right now is just moment by moment I, I'm not promised tomorrow nor the rest of this day but just moment by moment is is where I'm going to rely and keep my trust and faith in him. That's that's it. I don't know what's ahead of me. I only know what is behind me. And I have to be content with that. I have to be content with not knowing. Not uh <laughs> being in control um a lot of my walls have been broken down like you you guys know like anxiety and all this stuff and a whole bunch of stuff that I you know gotta prepare and, and change and make room for when I get home um <laughs> I believe coming to Hawaii has been my moment of rest where I just don't do anything and I just do what I want because when I get home I'm going to hit the ground running um, not sure what else to say except for that I just want to cry and you know if y'all in the same position and you just want to cry and you just want to um let it all go and just surrender it to God. Do it. Be okay with not having tomorrow promise. Be okay with not having the next hour, two hours, next four minutes, whatever, being promised to you. Just be in the moment with God. Just be in the moment and, and let it be, you know, let it be what it's going to be. I will say that everything in my flesh wants to give up and 
wants to be bitter towards God and angry and uh, upset, but why am I going to go against the one that's for me? That's the way that I look at it. He brought me here. I still don't even really fully know the reason why I'm here. I've met some great and amazing people. Like coming to Hawaii has made me want to move to Hawaii. Um, but yeah. Um, I was in here thinking that uh trying to figure out what I'm gonna call this video and I was gonna say something like oh this is my failed testimony but no it's not failed it's it's just uh it's a testimony and um as much as I want to show all of you the happiness the the challenging parts the the parts of where we are convicted and we grow I want to show y'all these parts too not all the time but you know when it's right when it's sensible um not sure what is gonna come of this and maybe one day I'll look back and be like oh my gosh remember when and be in a happier place but right now it's hard as I'm sure for a lot of people that are single and waiting, uh, widowed and waiting, divorced and waiting, it's hard. Um, and for all those who be like, oh girl, put yourself out there. And I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> I've, I've, I've tried the best that I know how. And it's not working. And it's probably not working because it's the best that I know how you know um, I do have issue with thinking about how it's going to happen and making sure to position myself but now as of lately you know I've just been thinking about how you know God will position me even if I'm not in my right place of discernment, I try to be in discernment all the time, but you know, we mess up, we're human, and I may not be in discernment all the time, but uh, you know, God is, and he loves me, and he loves y'all more than enough to know to put us in a right alignment even when we make a misstep so this is life and we'll see what god makes of it i guess um this is just me fully saying and admitting out loud to everyone that uh I just surrender to God and I leave it at that. So I love you guys. Have a very happy Sunday. Um, where I am, it's 4.58, but probably East Coast time, it is almost like 11 p.m. So uploading right on time, I guess. And I hadn't even planned to upload. I was like, oh, I'm going to skip it. And, you know, all these emotions and stuff came up today. So, um, God bless. And I love you guys. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.